Hi, welcome to Inside the Arts. I'm Ryan Quinn. This evening, my guest is Rick Lang. Rick, thanks for being on the show. You're welcome. Appreciate it. And uh, Rick, I found you, I met up with you, at, uh, you were displaying some of your art uh, at the uh, downtown Millville Arts and Music Fest this uh, past, or the last one that just happened. Um, was really captivated by your paintings and really wanted you to come on the show, so I definitely thank you. I uh, wanted to show the folks uh, some of your paintings in particular, and we will get to those as you can see some around us here, and we'll go more in depth on each piece uh, coming up in just a bit. But Rick, I wanted to start with, uh, you know, where, where are you from? Uh, where'd you grow up at? What, uh, what inspired you to paint? Well, I grew up in southeastern Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. and every summer we'd come down to the beach, uh, you know, for a week or so. And uh, I got the, I guess, the proverbial sand in the shoes mm -hmm. kind of thing. So I really enjoyed coming down to the beach. Cool. And I made it um, kind of a life goal to do whatever I could to, to live at the beach. And I went to Stockton College for, and graduated with a degree in marine science. So I had the opportunity to actually be at the beach and get paid for it for quite a while. And uh, it gave me a great opportunity to travel the East Coast and the West Coast and to see beaches all over this country. Mm and just fantastic views and vistas from wherever you went. And as time moved along, you know, you, life goes on a little further and you end up doing different things. And uh, I ended up moving further and further from the beach. Mm -hmm. And uh, fate fell into play uh, about seven years ago and I had the opportunity to move down here to South Jersey. And uh, I was very excited about being able to do that. Once I got here, I said, well, you know, now I get to get up and I see the sunrise every day. Right. How do I capture that? How do I how do I uh, keep that thought in my mind? And um, a friend of mine was kind enough to had some extra canvas lying around. And said, "Hey, what can you do with it? You're a pretty crafty guy." I said, <laughs> "I said, I don't know. Let me see what I can." And I put it on a big stretcher rack mm -hmm. and started painting. I painted a. It's called 59th Street Beach Walk. Uh -huh. And um, ever since then, I, I really haven't stopped. Wow. So it was. Uh, it's a lot of fun, <coughs> and I'm not without. Um, scenes to paint every day there's something new out there true a lot of inspiration at the shore indeed, oh, yeah. and all yeah. over as an artist yeah that's great so what how old were you when you started i was i was uh 40 years old wow 40 years old when that's i great. when i really started painting i i had i did paint one or two things mm -hmm. 30 years ago okay and i didn't pick up a brush since then wow so about the, till about six or seven years six years ago wow very good. Now, what uh, in particular, what uh, which we'll go more in depth on specific paintings, but what uh, types of paints do you use? I started in acrylics because mm -hmm. the thought process was, well, they're easy, they're water based, and I can do this. Right. Um, and then somewhere about two or three years later, I said to myself, you know, I've got to try oils. Let mm -hmm. me see what happens with oils. And um, I, I kind of like the way the oils work. They blend mm -hmm. a lot better. They blend a lot easier. Right. Although the, the acrylics were very good too. Um, I learned a couple other valuable lessons about oils is if it's on your hands, don't touch the furniture and that <laughs> kind of thing. So, uh, but it was, it was really a, a, a good experience. And now um, I, can, I do a lot more with the oils and uh, the colors come out a little more vibrant and the blending is, is when, it, you know, when you get into the sky and the water and those kind of landscape, those kind of sceneries, right. um, there's a lot more blending that goes on. So. True, true. I didn't think about that. And I know I worked with acrylics before, um, and it kind of seems like the next step. Like you, you start with acrylics or maybe watercolor um, before you jump to oils, because I know oils to me just confuse the heck out of me. And, and like you said, with the blending and everything, it seems like a trickier ordeal to, uh, you got to really have a good eye for it. Well, with the oils, it, it takes longer to dry. And, and you mm -hmm. know, I've learned how to be able to push the oil around a little bit on there. And when you're trying to color match, you can really mess around with it. And that's, right. that's really, it's more of an experiment almost all the way through until, yeah. until it looks kind of right. Uh, with the acrylics, it has a quicker dryer time, but you can replicate the colors a little easier. So gotcha. each, each has their advantages, mm -hmm. and it just kind of depends on, on what you want to do that day. Right. All right. Very good. All right. Well, let's take a quick break, and we'll come on back uh, and really uh, focus in more in depth on uh, Mr. Lang's paintings here just a little bit. Stay tuned, Inside the Arts, coming right back. 
Welcome back to Inside the Arts. Ryan Quinn here. My guest has been uh, Rick Lang. And uh, Rick, we chatted a little bit earlier about the types of paints you like to use and everything. Right now, I want to focus on these individual wonderful uh, works of art that you've brought here and shared with us. Uh, how about we start with this one here? What do you call this? Does this have a title? Yes, this painting is called Ready to Relax. I'm ready to Relax. It was a painting that was, uh, you know, inspired by questions that I get at different art shows and different festivals mm -hmm. um, where people would come up and they would ask, do I have a picture of the Adirondack chairs on the beach? And um, you know, I spent a great deal of time on the beach and I've yet to see an Adirondack chair on the beach. <laughs> so one day I was at the beach and I took a step back and I went, wait a second, there's a chair on the beach and there's a bag and there's an umbrella. And I said, now that is what you see at the beach today. Mm -hmm. So I took a picture of it and then brought the picture home uh, and was able to paint from that photo. Wow. Um, so that is uh, my chair, my bag, my umbrella. Mm -hmm. um, and I get so many comments on it where people tell me, well, you know, hey, that's that's just my chair. That's my, my chair is green, but you've painted it wrong or something right. like that. Right. Um, so it really gets a lot of, I mean, it really does get a lot of, of relaxation mm -hmm. comments out of it. That's great. That's great. And uh, what at what beach was this? This is um, this is Ocean uh, Beach in Ocean City. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know around Thirty Fifth Street, Thirty Seventh Street. Uh, they all blend together after yeah. a while. But uh, so it was uh, it was a nice little morning. Um, probably about ten thirty or eleven when I look at the uh, the shadows and all those kind of things. Okay, so you could you can tell. I can that, pretty much tell based and on I, the shadows. That and I oh. and I remember. Yeah. You know, when yeah. you take a picture, you kind of, you know what month it is. You, True. You can really, narrow, some of them you can really narrow down and others <laughs> um, you can kind of get it down to the day or the, the week. Right, right. No, it's very nice. I love what you did with the clouds up here. It kinda was. Kind of swirled uh, and uh, mm -hmm. nice there. Some, some days um, <laughs> aren't cloudy and, and they give you a nice bright blue sky, but there was just enough there to, mm -hmm. to say, you know, you, you, might, you might get a cloud uh, coming by. Yeah, it's great. And I also noticed here, uh, Rick, with the, it almost looks as if the umbrella's, you know, blowing with the wind a little bit. You got the little mm -hmm. pool right there that, that gives the effect. A little bit of sea breeze that day. Yeah, that was very nice. Very well done. Thank very you. Very well done. An original Rick, Rick Lang. And what'd you call it? Ready to relax. Ready to relax. All right. How about Rick? Uh, we're going to focus in on uh, this next painting of yours that you uh, graciously brought to us. Um, what do you title that one? That one is Just Beyond. Just Beyond. Just Beyond. The, um, <clears throat> turns out, uh, my sister had sent me a photograph uh, mm -hmm. from a vacation she had in the Outer Banks and said, hey, I thought this was really cool. Yeah. And I didn't make it on that particular trip, so I said, well, I'll do what I can. And I, one of my early oil paintings, and this is one that really demonstrates how you're able to blend a little, a little better with the different colors. Mm -hmm. So it was the sand dune um, from their house, and it could be sand dune from almost any place that has, uh, you know, along South Jersey Shore. Mm -hmm. uh, the the plants are the same, the you know, the color of the sand is the same. Right. And um, so it was a really nice painting to do um, because of the texture and the blending that you could do with the sand. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I noticed with the uh, shadows on there, um, <coughs> underneath the actual, what, what do you call this, the reeds? Uh, in, in that case, <coughs> that looks like Spartina. Okay. Um, I can't really tell, or dune grass. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the way you captured all that, and of course with the, uh, it's just very flowing, you know, with mm -hmm. on the sand. You can see all the individual grooves and everything. And you can see just enough of the, the, the light colored sky to tell you the ocean just over the other side. Right. That's great. That's a great one. And that was uh, the Outer Banks, you said? Somewhere on the Outer Banks. That's great. My yeah. brother was just down there not too long ago. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right. So that's uh, two down. I want to go over to this uh, next one here that's sitting off to my right. Uh, we'll get a, uh, get a shot of this in uh, just a second. Rick, what do you call uh, this painting we're about to see? That painting is called Foam Fury. Foam Fury? Foam Fury. Very good. And it's a uh, it's a color painting. It's an oil painting, mm -hmm. and it's uh, from a nor'easter. Wow! During one of the nor'easters, uh, it was it was a Mother's Day nor'easter a few years back. Uh huh. And um, 
it's the, the thing I like about it the most is it's actually a color painting. Mm -hmm. um, when you get into these storms, you go out into them and you see a little bit on the news and, and those kind of things. But the reality is some days really do look black and white. Yeah. Um, you right. Know, had I panned a little bit to the <coughs> right, uh, you would be able to see some of uh, some street lights and some other things like that. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah, it looks. Uh, and where was that? Uh, taking it that's in ocean city that's also um, ocean city? in that particular okay. case i was standing on the music pier looking towards the 14th street fishing pier mm -hmm. and the wind is blowing i don't know 40 45 miles an hour that that particular scene wow and you can just see the spray just blowing out of there oh yeah absolutely and that big curl over there that's great they were coming in and and that's that's one of those scenes that a lot of folks who come down here for the summer don't ever get the opportunity to see. True. Um, you know, we get a lot of nor'easters, a lot of bad weather, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I try to go out and capture those too, so that you can see what the rest of the year looks like. Yeah, exactly. See all sides, not just the uh, beautiful summertime. Mm -hmm. Of course, we've had some bad storms in summer as well. Yes. <clears throat> the tropical storms once they start to come up, but uh, yeah, well, that's great, Rick. That's great. I thank you for uh, sharing these with us. And how about we? Uh, take a break here and we'll come on back we're going to reload the easels i guess okay. with a few other shots and uh go more in depth more uh paintings here with rick lang on inside the arts coming up next stay tuned